It works fantastic with emerald doublets, ruby doublets, sapphire doublets, emeralds. It's a very good example. Sapphires, rubies, and all other colored gemstones. Hi viewers, today I show you how you identify emerald doublets with simple household equipment. What we need is simple tweezer, a clear can, we need some oil, I used rapeseed oil, also you can use every food oil, olive oil, you have to look that it's clear and you can look through it. Next thing. What I want to show you is the color of the stones. You see, they've got really good colors, typical emerald colors. And also they have inclusions, like many emeralds on the market, or natural emeralds on the market. They've got a typical jardin in it. These small stones got inclusions too. Okay, how we could identify these stones as a doublet? I show you. Let's make some light. Get your can with oil. Hold the stone like this. You see it looks like a natural emerald. And what we see now under oil, you see, oh, the stone is colorless. Can you see this? This is a very good way to identify and a very fast and cheap way to identify emerald doublets. What we see is the crown of the stone is a very clear material. Often they use quartz glass or clear sapphire the pavilion got inclusions you see it the green color only reflects from this thin part you see this i think the pavilion it's quartz with inclusions see these typical reflecting inclusions we know from quartz and the upper half of the stone also the crone is some sapphire clear sapphire or glass maybe it is a clear barrel so when you check it with a gem indicator it shows barrel and you think oh cool i've got an emerald but you see in the oil there is a thin green foil between these two parts or a colored green adhesive they used to put the crown and the pavilion together and you see this is no emerald. Okay, what happened with the stone when we put them, them in oil? It's about the refractive index. The air got a lower refractive index than oil. Oil, gemstones, any fluids got a higher refractive index than the air. The refractive index of oil is closer to the refractive index of the stone. So we can take a much better look inside them. I'll show you this example here you see the stone what we see now is he's colorless you see this it's a very good example you see at the pavilion we got some inclusions and on the crown also the top half of the stone it's clear material and in the middle of these it's very very thin foil it's a green foil 
or as I say it is a colored green adhesive. You see this? So it's the fastest and cheapest way to identify doublets. It works fantastic with emerald doublets, ruby doublets, sapphire doublets, but also you get some other stones like this one here. Under daylight it looks like a very fine aquamarine. Under this light it looks a little bit like a sapphire, but what I want to show you is the same like on our emeralds, you see the stone is colorless. You see it. Here you see the crone is colorless material, here you see the pavilion is colorless material, and only this thin part between them reflects the color through the complete stone so you think oh I got a very nice color of gemstone but you see it is glass or clear sapphire a thin layer of clear sapphire on the crown quartz so this is the way you can identify doublets I'll show you one of these smaller stones. You see it looks like a very fine emerald, small but he got inclusions, few inclusions and now let's check in in oil again. You see the stone is complete colorless. See this? The color is reflected by this thin foil or adhesive in the top area also the chrome we've got a very clear material and in the bottom part also the pavilion you see there is a slightly included part so when you look from the chrome side of these stones you think, oh, I've got a fantastic natural gemstone with some inclusions, the very good color. See this, it has inclusions and check them in oil. You see, wow, colorless. Colorless included material at the bottom and clear colorless material at the top with this green adhesive or a thin layer of green foil between them. But when you put your gemstones in oil, you get a fantastic look inside them. You see here, you can spot much better the inclusions of the stone because it's of the higher refractive index. Okay, I hope you enjoy this and you can identify your stones yourself or you can identify the doublets yourself. Okay, you can use every oil and everybody can identify doublets. Emeralds, sapphires, rubies and all other colored gemstones. You see, it looks like a very nice emerald with inclusions. And here you can see it is only colorless material with a very thin part of foil between the crown or the upper half of the stone and the pavilion. You can use every simple clear food oil like rapeseed oil or olive oil or many other oils and you can identify every doublet very fast. Everybody can do it, goes very fast, it's not expensive and you don't need much experience for it. 
Hope you had some fun. Please comment, leave a thumbs up when you have fun with me together in gemstones or with gemstones. Then subscribe to my channel. You can see many stuff of gemstone cutting and give you some tips for gemstone identifying and many many more. At the end of the video I show you some photos so you become a better detailed look of these doublet stones. Okay, bye bye. Thank you.